Good morning, everyone. Today we are here for the public lecture review one, the Picasso and Einstein in classroom unlocking students' creativity. I, first of all, I really, really enjoyed this session. I learned a a lot of new things. Like there was a lot more geometry in art and modern art, and that the walls between engineering and art only exist in our mind. I also learned new genres of art like y Yayoi uh, Kusama dot art, which is which has become uh, an area of interest for me now. I already knew a bit about cubism because I had already read an article on it before, but not that much. Um, but the geometric magnificence used, magnificence used by Picasso in his paintings and the way he gave rise to the modern art is truly amazing. Now that I know, now that I know a lot more about cubism, I see paintings and a lot a lot more things around me in a much different way like the like a lot of things in a much more beautiful way was there something uh, in the lecture that sparked my curiosity yeah the ui kusama art really really sparked my curiosity because it is for me it is uh, very it is very unique to me and it is very pleasing to my eye it seems futuristic but also like something something that would be like also a relic at the same time so for me it seems like timeless uh, the the I, and I also believe that it is minimalistic so um, basically this um, abstract is taken from an article which basically states that cubism was cub, cubism was a reflection of a big paradigm that was taking place at, at the time both in science and in art and as you can see here that <clears throat> the thesis of this work is that the nature of paradigm shift of which cubism was a transitional representation had a new notion of space time as its trademark but in fact it has a, it had a much deeper connection Right. I think the way lines, the way lines were used to depict uh, 2D, 3D thing in on a 2D sheet was something that is truly amazing. That I truly find amazing. I think the way in a lot of paintings like this painting, I think this painting has a lot more layers in layers to it, and. It is very difficult to do it on a on a two D paper, but uh, that's what uh, that's what was I guess Picasso's big, biggest contribution to um, art, according to me. Uh, yeah, th that's the same thing. Please go through this article. This is a very very nice article, which again show uh, displays the same thing: the continuity of line changed the perception and broke down the identity of three-dimensional objects to be in sense and more compatible with two-dimensional surfaces. This is what I intended to say. This, this effect in, in turn freed the mind to utilize parts of painting space in, in the generation of new exciting patterns which would not have been possible with the usual rule, rules. These are also I really enjoyed this painting session. Thank you so much for your time.